Michael Scanzello here. Avoiding the overwhelm. That's what this is all about. You know, you might see a great three hour lecture and you got to go through the whole thing to get that 10 minute utility move or tactic that you're going to use for the rest of your life to make all your magic better. Cut right to the chase here in 10 minutes or less. Going to give it a good performance, bad performance. You can contrast the two and the tactic right from the expert. Today we got Mark D'Souza, nationally awarded IBM winner, SAM winner, multiple award winner, tons of trophies, really nice guy. And a great thing he's talking about regarding Doug Henning and how he made his magic feel real. And it's a very simple thing. You can apply to all your magic in just minutes. I'll give you a simple exercise to do that. Let's do it with the bad, the good, and the expert. So here's the uh, head side, that's the tail side right over there. But if I just take the coin, if you could see it, just give it a little rub. Are you creating the atmosphere of magic mm. within the concept okay. of that act, within oh. the performance of that yeah. act? And that's that's something when I first heard it, I went, wow, you know, that's deep. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's something to yeah. consider. Do your audiences walk out of your performance just going, that was just magical. That, yeah. that I, I mean, I felt yeah. magic. I know it can't be real, but right, I right. felt at that right. moment yeah. that there was something supernatural or, or in a good yeah. way, not, not in the woo-woo yeah. way, yeah. but, you know, there's something that was truly magical. I mean, yeah. if you ever got to see Eddie perform, oh, my God, you walked out feeling yeah. the wonder. You yeah. walked out feeling, yeah. yeah there is magic. It's yeah, yeah magic, magic tricks right. may not be real, right. but the atmosphere he's right. creating is one of, of magic. But yeah, and I feel the distinction that was like, it's not like he just said it, because I think a lot of magicians, like you can just say it. You know, you can just say, oh, I'm gonna write this into my script and you know, I'll talk about wonder and being a child and the, whatever. But if you don't feel it, like if you don't really live it, if it doesn't become part of your everyday life where it's just embodies you, like you look at Doug Henning, you could probably be talking to him like, you know, I'm talking to you. Unfortunately, he passed away. Um, Fortunately, you know, I got to talk to oh, Doug Henning like we're talking. So when you were talking to him, I mean, probably even just talking to him, was it the same kind of feeling? Absolutely. The same, yeah. Absolutely. It didn't matter. And, and, yeah. and the difference is he believed. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's the problem with most magicians. We yeah. don't believe. You don't believe in your magic. I'm not talking about believing that that I can really make something float. Yeah. But you know, when something's floating, if you believe that it's floating and yeah. you're imbuing life into this yeah. thing, your audience is going to feel it. Yeah. They're going to feel something yeah. different than some guy just going through the motions. Yeah. So you need you need to have that belief system in your head. You need to have that inner script. You need to be an actor. So all you have to do is take those moments when magic is supposed to be happening. Something real. Like if you really couldn't make the card go to the top of the deck, if you really couldn't make the coin appear, and fill in the gaps, write some lines, write a line or two of what you would think as if it was real. Don't write any of the directions, you know, put coin in hand or anything, just as if it's real. Like, oh look, I need to wipe the dust off of this thing. Oh, there we go, oh, I see it again, cool, awesome. <laughs> you know, think of the quality of the motion as well. You know, like when I'm wiping the dust off the coin, do I wipe it off and it wipes off really quickly? Or is there a little bit of dust still left on there and I gotta wipe it a little bit more? I gotta blow the dust off the back of the coin, you know? But the, it, it sounds silly, I know it sounds silly, but the more you bring this to life, the more the magic becomes real for your audience. And it's so simple. If you just put a little bit of effort behind it, you're gonna get a big return. And you're gonna see it in the reactions of the people, the way they respond to you. You're gonna see the impact grow. And that is your tactic. So I hope you enjoy that. Try that silent script out, build that magic atmosphere. And it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. So check this out, look, watch, ready? Can, can you guys see it over here? Can you, oh, that's the head side, that's the tail side. I'm sorry, that's the tail side, that's the head side. Maybe you can see it better over here. Can you guys see it on this side? Maybe if I bring it um, up over on this side, can you guys see it? Maybe right up here. Oh, it's got the invisible dust. Let me get that off, hold on. Just... Isn't that cool? 